my dear brothers and sisters in Christ. Based on Deuteronomy 3 2. This verse is a reminder to us that when we are facing a difficult situation or an adversary, we should not be afraid because God is with us. Let us explore this verse and draw some lessons from it. Firstly, let us look at the context in which this verse was spoken. Moses was leading the Israelites on their journey from Egypt to the Promised Land. They had already faced many challenges and obstacles along the way, but God had always been with them. In this verse, God was assuring Moses that he need not be afraid of the king of Bashan and his army because God had already delivered them into his hands. Likewise, we too face challenges in our lives, whether they are personal, professional, or societal. It is easy to become overwhelmed by the magnitude of these challenges and feel like we are alone in facing them. However, we must remember that we have a God who is always with us, just as he was with Moses and the Israelites. We must have faith and trust that God will deliver us from our difficulties, just as he delivered the Israelites from their enemies. Secondly, let us look at the command that God gave to Moses. He told Moses to do to the king of Bashan what he had done to Sihon king of the Amorites. This refers to the battle that the Israelites had fought against Sihon, which they had won. The lesson we can draw from this is that we must learn from our past victories and use them to face new challenges. When we face a challenge, it can be helpful to look back at our past experiences and see how we overcame similar situations. This can give us confidence and help us to develop a plan of action. Just as the Israelites use their victory over Sihon as a template for their battle with the king of Bashan, we too can use our past victories to help us overcome our current challenges. In conclusion, Deuteronomy 3 2 reminds us that we should not be afraid when we face challenges because God is always with us. We must have faith and trust that He will deliver us from our difficulties. We must also learn from our past victories and use them to face new challenges. With God's help, we can overcome any obstacle that comes our way. My dear brothers and sisters in Christ, let us pray. Dear God, we come to you today with grateful hearts, knowing that you are always with us, just as you were with Moses and the Israelites. We thank you for your promise that you will deliver us from our difficulties, just as you delivered them from their enemies. We ask that you help us to remember this promise whenever we face challenges in our lives. Help us to have faith and trust in your plan, even when things seem overwhelming. We pray that you would give us the strength and courage to face our obstacles, knowing that you are with us every step of the way. As we reflect on Deuteronomy 3 2, we are reminded of the victory that you gave to the Israelites over Sihon and his army. We pray that you would help us to learn from our past victories and use them to face new challenges. May we be confident in your ability to help us overcome any obstacle that comes our way. We pray for your guidance and wisdom as we seek to do your will. Help us to be a light in this world, shining your love and truth wherever we go. We ask all of this in Jesus' name, Amen.